How's it going, everybody? Um, welcome to the Online Tutoring Center's Pre-Calculus Review. My name is Jay. Um, I'll be your tutor today. And uh, we also have Theo Tate. Hello. Pfizer. Yep. And uh, we'll be working together to kind of help you guys with uh, the pre-calculus review um, that you guys got from your teacher. So um, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to um, another page that we have open, that we have um, the first problem written down, and we'll go from there. So this first problem is asking you um, to evaluate a, um, um, what's the word? Function? No, um, what's it called when you have like composite. multiple components? Composite function. Function? Which one? F composite function. These are composite functions. Yeah. So this is a composite function where you have uh, one function inside of another. And in this case, um, you have your, let me switch this color, your g of x, and you have your f of x, right? And you have to combine them um, the way that the problem is asking you. And so that's over here, right here in the uh, question, where they show you how they want you to combine them, right? And so this circle right here, this little o, what that means is it's of, right? As in f of x, like right over here, right? And that's how you write it. Um, so what that means is in the place of the x, you're going to replace it with whatever function you're putting inside of it. And in this case, you can see that they said uh, you want to put the f of x inside of your g of x, right? So that's over here, where you have g of f of 2, right? And um, normally, you plug in a number into x. But it just so happens that with functions, what you can do is you can plug in whatever you want. Um, in some cases, if you want to like test it out to see how it works, you can plug in a smiley face, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, but for right now, um, all we do is we just replace all of the X's inside of the G function, the G of X with whatever F of X is, right? So let me go ahead and write that again. Um, and I'll go ahead and erase what we have here. And I'll be using blue to represent the G and a nice uh, purpley pink type color for F, right? So G of X, um, like we pointed out up at the top, is 5X minus 1. So we write 5X and then give us some space because we know it's coming minus one, right? And because of what um, is said over here with this g of f of two, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and replace that x inside of your g function with the f of x function, okay? And that looks like this. So um, let me switch to my pen. Five times f of x, which is x squared plus 2x in this case, and then lastly, minus 1, okay? Now, what we can do next is actually simplify this and um, basically run um, algebra on it to get it into its simplified form. So simplify. And what you end up with is a very nice looking quadratic formula. 5x squared plus uh, 10x minus 1. So that's our new function. What we're going to do is we're going to actually call that um, big F, right? And uh, Theo, if you don't mind scrolling down on your screen, um, if you can't see everything right now. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. So big F, right, of x, not lowercase f, capital F is equal to the composite function 5x squared 
plus 10x minus 1. Really nice. Okay. Now, going back to what the question told us, they want us to evaluate the composite function at um, 2. So what we're going to do is replace inside of the big F of x, we're going to plug in 2 for that. So big F of 2. Okay. And so same thing that we did with the um, putting the function inside of the other function, we're going to put 2 in for every x that we see. So we have um, 5 times 2 squared plus 10 times 2 minus 1. And so evaluating that, we just follow the basic algebraic order of operations, and that gives us... Um, Make sure you use your parentheses. Yeah. And I'm trying to, like, switch to these colors here. So you can see we replace the x, and I'll actually write that above, or actually I'll write it below. So that's x, that's x, and that's x. And we just replace it with 2. All right. So now evaluating this, what we end up with is big F of 2 is equal to 5 times 2 squared, which is uh, 4, because 2 squared is 4. So 5 times 4, let's switch this back over here, plus 10 times 2, which is 20. Minus 1. And then we evaluate um, the first term because all we did in that step was to actually square the 2. So that becomes 20 because 5 times 4 is 20. And then plus 20 again minus 1. And so that is just equal to 20 plus 20 is 40, minus 1 is 39. And that's your answer. So what do we take away from this? We take away the fact that with the functions, all you have to remember is whatever you plug into the x with the um, on the left-hand side of the equation where you have the f of x or g of x or whatever, Whatever you plug into those parentheses, you're going to plug into every x on the other side of the equation, and then you can just evaluate it from there. And that is how you solve the first problem on your review set.